Okay, let's see what's going on today. If the market is bouncing back or not. One reason I want you to start thinking about what to do is because, you know, the market can keep going up, up, I mean down, and you're buying the way down, but you don't know how far down it's going to go. So if I look at Bitcoin today, it looks like it's going back up. It's dark red, went into dark, into light red over here. But I look at this line, this squiggly line that's going, um, you know, you see it look like a mountain, then it comes under the line. And whenever that line is there, that is a bad time in the market. If it's under the line of the MACD, that, that wire, then it's, it's usually a very down time. And look at where we are. And it does, we don't know if it's coming back up yet. It's still pretty low. So right now, I'm chilling. I'm not buying anything because I'm not sure how low this stuff is going to go. I mean, if you got a lot of money to keep buying on the way down, you know, have fun. But still, it's not even dark red today. So, you know, again, if it was dark red, I would tell you different. But Bitcoin is not even dark red. Ethereum... Light red, but it looks like it's going to be hitting dark green soon. Ethereum is starting to look like it's taking off in different ways than Bitcoin. Look, it's not even under. The lines, the squiggly lines, I don't know the official terms for them. They're not under the line. So, you know, Ethereum could probably go up even though Bitcoin might go down more. Avalanche is a blockchain that is, is becoming popular. Um, even though the coin is down right now, remember it was up, it was up very high and look, it's light red, but the, but the lines are not below MACD. So, you know, again, nothing is, is viable yet. And then when you look at Ave, Ave as well, light red. So I don't think it's a good day to buy anything. Look at how low the line is on Ave. So this is one of the you know worst dips in a long time for Ave. Um, again, it's not dark red, but that's just me. It's my own formula. You can do whatever you want, but all these all these things together just show me that we're probably in one of the lowest of lows. But it's very possible that it can go further down, and that's where you start have to plan and create your own financial strategy. A lot of people ask me, should I be buying? Should I be buying? I'm not buying right now. Today, I'm not buying anything. Um, I haven't bought in a few days because I have a dollar amount that I want to make sure I stay with no matter what in my bank to allow me to buy things if it goes really, really down, but also to, you know, be able to take care, take advantage of deals like I was able to buy land on Sunday because I had cash ready and I didn't even, you know, plan for that, but it happened and um, I had money ready. Um, this is though the first month where I probably won't borrow to pay my bills. Um, you know, it's Christmas, the market is down. I don't want to take too many risks with that money. I definitely will though be selling if the market goes back up in any way, I'm going to be selling a lot more this time around to make sure that you know, end of the year, I have, I have cash, you know, there's going to be taxes and stuff to be paid. So maybe I'll do something with that cash that I'm going to owe taxes on to not have to pay as many taxes. These are all things you got to really think through. We're heading into the last month of the year. The bank is not down too terribly, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting tight and, um, planning for, even worst case scenario, and definitely if it, if it starts going back up, I'm going to be selling, but that's my plan, that's my strategy. There will be tax implement, implement implications for doing that, and you got to think to yourself, that's what you want to do. So, keep following along, let me know if you have any questions, join the Discord, please like this video wherever you see it, share it with people that are interested in crypto. This is the future of 
decentralized finance. You have to wrap your brain around it. And hopefully this, this type of content is helping you do that. Thanks.